Hey there, and welcome to this introductory video to Microsoft Teams. I'm really an introductory video if you are a teacher looking to uh, have Teams in your classrooms right now or as we go into next year and to really see what it can do. Um, but before we get into Microsoft Teams and what it looks like and the different sections, I just wanted to first look at like what does the average teacher want to use something like Microsoft Teams, a learning management system in their classroom. Other things would be like Google Classrooms or Edmodo, those types of things. And I find from my own use in classrooms and also collaborating with other teachers, most teachers or the average teacher wants to be able to communicate with students. They want to upload documents and handouts. They want to create assignments, grade those assignments, and then collaborate in documents um, either for teachers and students to or student to student collaboration. And Microsoft Teams can do all these things. It can do them all very, very well. So first and foremost, I want to go into how does Teams look and how does it work? Um, it's really broken down into these five sections um, within a team with conversations uh, where you can talk with students um, and anyone on your team, files, class notebook, which is really, I think, to be advanced because it is including OneNote into your team, another Microsoft application, um, creating assignments, and then using your bookmarks. So without further ado, let's just jump into what Microsoft Teams looks like and where it is. So we've all been here before. This is the Microsoft Office 365 login screen. Well, once we've logged in, it takes us here. We have our email, we have our OneDrive, our Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and down the line here, we have Microsoft Teams. I'm going to click on that. Now when Teams opens, if this is your first time jumping into it, it may look a little confusing because there's a lot of information displayed on the screen, but I kind of want to make this real easy for you. So it will open up on default to your teams. All of these teams um, are your clubs, Your most of them are your classes of teams that you are uh, a part of. When you, uh, in the beginning of the year this year, um, all of your classes were made into teams through the connection that we have with eSchool. So you may find you'll have some teams in here. Um, and these here are, this is my Spartan Update team for this, uh, the club that I run. This is my class of 2024 um, team for as a seventh grade advisor. These are teams that I've been working in with teachers that I've been collaborating in. And this is kind of my fake team that I've made uh, to use as a demonstration here. Uh, but before we get into that, we have other things up here like activity, which is really just a big notification uh, thread of all the assignments that you may, may have put out of like conversations you're having, messages you're sending f back and forth with people. I generally never look at it. Um, and the same with chat too. This would be if you wanted to directly message someone um, to tell them a specific thing, whether it be a student, um, another teacher on the team etc. I generally don't use this. I usually use Outlook to send an email, um, but you, you're more than welcome to do that if you wanted to. Um, and then you have your assignments thread, which I'll click on here. So all of the assignments that um, either teachers that I'm in teams with have made, um, like these two right here, are here. Um, also fake ones that I've made for my, my fake team that I have is up here. So on the teacher side, you will see every single thing that you've made assignment wise um as a teacher in microsoft teams i generally don't look in this um at all when i'm making assignments i usually do it through the specific team which i'll show you in a little bit um but for the students i feel like this is really good for them to see because they will see a list of all of the assignments that they have to do and then they could just kind of go through it and click on all the different assignments that permeate all of the different classes that they have but i want to go back into teams right here and I want to start going into what makes um, different teams or what really your team would look like if you had a class um, in here. So I'm going to go into my test team right here because it's already set up as a classroom. Um, and I have, you can see here, that opens up immediately general, unit one, and this unit two here. So pretty much all of the information that I'm going to use in here is in general. Um, and you'll see this come up. This is like sort of the home page of your team, this general tab. And I'll go into what these things here, which are called channels are in a moment. But as I go through the top here, um, I have conversations right here. Now, this is really where I am posting um, information here. So like here, I wrote on 212 um, to the ninth grade ELA test team. Remember Tuesday is presentation day, bring all materials. 
Now when I sent this out, it sent the notification to everyone in the team. Um, and if you have the Microsoft Teams app, it sends it right to your phone and it's, it's really very quick. It's really, really nice. Um, I also sent a link right here to Newzella, to an article that I have. Um, but I really just want to just quickly demonstrate how to do this. So if I go down here, this is very reminiscent of like a Facebook post. Um, if I want to notify the entire team, I could just do at team and you'll see it'll change over to the name of the team I'm in. And I can just start saying, um, please bring your novels with you on Tuesday. Um, and I can send that out just as easy as that. Now, if I wanted to send a document in here, like I wanted to attach something, I could very easily hit the paperclip and you could see that it will immediately connect up to my OneDrive. I even have it connected up to my Google Drive as well, um, which is a thing I added onto here. Um, and I could also upload from my computer. Um, when I click on my OneDrive, it's very quickly going to connect up to everything in here. So if I wanted to put something in my documents, let's just say, um, these Office 365 question document that I have, I'll click on there and I will upload a copy so it doesn't mess with my original. And then when this little green thing kind of goes through and it's off from there, we're all good. I can hit the paper clip, not a paper clip, a paper airplane, and it gets sent out so that anyone who's in the team can go in here um, and do it. Now, if you notice here, I didn't put at ninth grade ELA team like I did here. Now the only difference here is that um, no one in the team got a notification that I sent this document out. However, it's in here, so when someone goes in, they can do it. So if I wanted to make sure everyone was notified, I could go to reply right here and I could do, um, whoops, wrong person. I could do at team. And I could send that out right there. So even if I forget to do it, now everyone's notified and they get a thing in here saying that um, Mr. Tofolo put in uh, something in here. This is a great way too um, that I find, uh, especially on my clubs, is that um, there's a lot of things like a lot. Of, I know a lot of teachers use Remind, and I found that using this conversation thread was a really great way to kind of consolidate some of the the different things that I was using. Um, and I haven't been using Remind with my Spartan Update Club uh, really at all this entire year, and we've been uh, doing just fine. Um, so this is really what Conversations is. Conversations is a place for you to have conversations. Um, you could even do things I've done before, like if I wanted to um, say like at team and I wanted to, let's make this a little bigger, let's click on that. And I wanted to give it a heading and say like exit ticket for, um, let's say five slash 11 slash 19. And if I wanted to say to them, uh, please pick the best line of uh, text from the article that proves your argument. And I can send this out. Um, what students can do on the other end is they can reply here and they can type stuff in and send it here so that you really will start to build a conversation here and I can get immediate feedback. So this is what uh, Conversations is. You can do a lot of these things, um, really that you might be using uh, other uh, learning platforms or messaging services with. So I wanna go to Files right now. So when I go up here and go to Files, I have some stuff in here already. You can see that that file that I put in the Conversations thread right here immediately got uploaded to my files here. Um, and you can see that I have other stuff up here, like such as an ELA course contract that I uploaded, something that I wanted the students to be able to um, see maybe throughout the year, our course contract. Um, you can make these something that is editable so that if you wanted kids to change stuff, you can, or you could leave it so that they can't. Um, but I also have up here like the student and parent handbook for um, our school district so that it's always here, it's always referable, and it's just a place where kids can go to get this information. You can upload anything into here. Um, you can make new documents right in here. So if I wanted to make a new Word document, um, I can call this like test team doc and I can create it. 
and it will immediately create a Word document. And I can start typing in this right now. Um, I'm going to close that. Um, and you can see my test team doc is right there. But I can also upload um, documents that I have in my OneDrive or on my computer um, by going here. I can even post links to the web. So if there's a website that I'm continually using in class um, that I want students to go to, things like No Red Ink, um, I can make a list of links uh, right here as well. Class Notebook is something I'm not going so, to spend really much time here because it starts up a whole nother application and it's something you have to set up and it's not something I recommend a beginning person, a uh, beginning user with Teams to use because it does connect up to Microsoft OneNote, which is a fantastic tool, um, but it's not something I would use unless I was really comfortable um, with it and you don't really even have to use it within Teams. So I'm going to jump over this, but if you're someone who does use OneNote, um, especially to, to kind of curate an online uh, note-taking place um, with students, the full power of OneNote is built inside of Teams here, um, and it, it kind of works really nicely. I am going to do something before I go in, uh, to the next tab, which is I kind of want to not just have all this information here, and I kind of want to make just what I'm focusing on in my team uh, be right there. So I'm going to hit this button right here, and it kind of fills up everything right here. Um, but before I do that, I want to click on Assignments. So when I go to Assignments, now again, I'm on the teacher end here. So I can see all of the assignments that I have made already. Um, and I can create uh, new assignments here. So I just want to create a test assignment with you so that you kind of get a feel of how to do this, um, at least at an introductory level. So I'm going to click create right here. and It's going to bring this drop down menu of new assignment, new a quiz and from existing. I'm going to click on new assignment because I'm going to make a new one. But just so you're aware, you can make a new quiz through Microsoft Forms, which I haven't really played around with too much um, and I'm not going to use. Um, so I'm just going to click on new assignment and it brings me to this menu here where it's asking me to create a new assignment. Now I'm going to send this to my ninth grade ELA team. But if I wanted to send this to multiple teams, so let's say I teach like three sections of seventh grade um, ELA and I didn't want to make individual assignments for each one, I can click on the teams that I wanted to go to here. So you'll see now it has two classes, three classes. And when I click off this way, when I send this out, it'll assign it to these three classes and I don't have to do this three separate times. I am going to click off of these because I don't want them to go to a uh, team. Um, I could also, if I wanted to, um, send this to individual students. Now, this is a team made up of teachers, um, but let's say this was uh, my class with students and I wanted to assign like an extra credit assignment to a teacher, I could just easily just um, send it in right here and it's only going to go to one student. Um, if I wanted to do multiple students, uh, let's say they're absent, I could do that too. Um, but I'm going to leave it just as the whole team. Now I can title this, um, let's just say it's a current event topic. Um, and if I was wanted to call this like, I wanna have a uh, current event category here so that everything kind of gets filed under this, um, I could leave it as that. Now I can give instructions here so I could say like, let me turn that off. There we go. Um, I could say, uh, please go to uh, Newzella and answer all of the questions. Um, please go to the, let's say, New York Times and find one article. Um, and I'll leave that right there. Now, I can add resources here. So if I wanted to add, let's say I had a, a Word document or something in my OneDrive that um, I created for students to use. Um, let's say I have, uh, here we go, this currency project lesson plans, which I'm, I'm just going to click on here. Now this will um, go through and it will upload. Uh, I might take a moment once that blue line goes through. Um, I have down here where, uh, I mean, I can click on it if I want to, to see that it's, it is what it is. Um, but when I go over here, it says here that students, uh, each student or students edit their own copy. 
If I wanted to um, change that where I wanted to put something in here where students can't edit that, I can easily just do that right there. Now students can't edit that. Let's say I wanted them to answer uh, all the questions uh, in the Word document attached to this assignment. Um, I could easily do that and I could add a resource um, and let's say I wanted to make just a new blank Word document here. I could do that. I'll call it current events project or let's call it. Yeah, it's fine. Let me, I think I clicked off of it. Current events uh, questions and let's attach that and it goes there and I have here students can edit their own copy. Um, this way when they're turning it in, uh, everything will be kind of in this Word document uh, that I've made there. I can make a due date here. Let's say I want to make this on Thursday the 30th um, at 1159 p.m. I could do that. Um, I could schedule to assign it later. So if let's say I wanted to do this right now, but I didn't want it to appear until let's say uh, the 21st, I could do that. Um, I can allow late turn in um, or I can turn that off. So that really depends on what you want to do. Um, and I can have points factored in here. So if this was out of 100, I could do that. Um, or I can turn that off, especially if I may not be using the grading system in here um, that Microsoft Teams has. Um, and if you wanted to build your own rubric in here, you absolutely can. Um, and you could save rubrics in here too. Um, but I don't want to go too much into that. This might be a little bit more advanced uh, type stuff. So I'm going to cancel that. Once you have your assignment done and you have it ready, um, I'm just going to assign it. Now this is going to go through, I see it here on my assignments right here, um, but I want to go back and actually see it now in my team. So you'll kind of notice right here popping up already is an assignment um, from the ninth grade team and I can see that this general right here is a number one um, and that's a notification in there and you can see like it popped up there. So already my assignment is here. Um, I can view it um, right here. And uh, if I was a student, I would be able to go in and, and this wouldn't say return, uh, the review it would say turn in. But on my end, I can actually review and I could see down below here, um, the students here that may or may not have turned it in. So I'm gonna just jump into, I'm gonna click this little thing right here. Cause I could see um, that Let's see if I can click on this. Yes. So when I click on the person's name here, I can actually see their document um, and I can see if they were working in it at this moment or what they have in it. Um, I can enter feedback in here. Like I can say, great job. <clears throat> or I can even type in their document, great job. And it will show up there um, as well. And when I was done with this, I can return it, but this person hasn't returned their document to me. So I'm not gonna uh, do anything there. Um, and if you did put feedback, it would tell you, it would let you know because you had filled it there. Um, and that's that. So I'm going to go back and I am going to uh, click back on here on the general. Now, the only other, there's two more things I just kind of wanted to go over here. So I have these unit ones and unit twos. These are called channels. Um, you may or may not even ever really use them. Um, what I've done here is I, let's say I was a teacher and I had like unit one, which was a project and I wanted all conversation to be held in one area and all um, documents for one project to be held in one area. Um, I could do that. So this right here is just, I guess, handouts that I um, have that are very specific to um, the first unit and I don't want it to stay with all of the general stuff all the year that I may have uploaded in the other files tab or maybe other conversations that I've been having. Um, and the same thing with this unit two here. This channel is really just for the second unit of this test team. Um, and I would use it to post anything pertaining to that. Um, if you wanted to get further with this, you can make different groups in here if you wanted to. Um, you can do a lot of things with channels. Um, and it's really easy to make a new channel. It's really just hitting these three dots um, and you can add a channel. Um, so let me go back into the general. Um, I really never do leave the general here. Um, and you can do these things up at the top, which are adding tabs or adding um, bookmarks up here. 
and you can see a whole bunch of different things related to um, Office 365 that you can put up here, especially if are, there are things that you use frequently. Like I know a lot of teachers use Flipgrid. Um, there's a Kahoot one. Um, I'm gonna use this. I have this Newzella one up here. So bookmarks, I feel, are really good things to put up here, or tabs as they're called, to put up here to kind of go over uh, and include things that you commonly use. Um, but they're not necessary, and if you find them confusing or kind of useless, you don't need to include them in your team. This is really what teams can do. Um, this is really like the way to use it. Um, if you're using it in the beginning of the year, you will have a, um, you will have teams already there and you will have students in them. Um, and really anything that you want to do on the back end with managing a team, um, you can do. So I can um, see all the members in here. I can add members, um, students I can search for. If I have any co-teachers, I can add them into my team um, just by typing in uh, their name. So this is really it right here. Um, I can create a team too. If I, like my Spartan Update team was not made uh, went through um, anything, so I had to create one. Um, but you can easily create a team by clicking this button down here. Um, creating a team or you can even join a team with a code um, that is generated automatically when you make your team. Um, so I'm just going to create this right here and a lot of the times if you're making it for your own classroom you're going to choose classes and then you can figure out you know the name of it and the description and all that stuff and it will set up just as a regular team. So this is really what Microsoft Teams is. This is what it can do for your classroom um, and it's really a great tool and it's something that we have um, already in the district. Um, it will do all of the things that I feel most teachers do want to do. Um, so if this is something that was appealing and you want to go further with it or you want to contact me in any way, um, you can always email me at tofolo.c at vschsd.org. Thank you for your time.